Season 11 Paragons is right around the corner in Conker's Blade, and with it right now comes the preview event, where we get to show off all the content that is coming up. So with that out of the way, let's start taking a look at some of the stuff coming in Season 11 Paragons. As a reminder, this is the preview event. Some of the details and information may change before the release of the actual season. In this video, we're going to start out with the F5 menu. First off is the overview like normal, it gives us an idea of the dates, and we're going to go right into the Battle Pass. So with the Battle Pass, nothing really has changed. It's a lot of the same stuff. You can buy your nobility, you can have your uh, claim pages that we got last season. But the big one is obviously what we're getting reward wise. First off is the attire for tier one. It's a pretty fancy looking attire. It's got really nice colorations. We kind of showed this off ahead of time with the renders. It looks pretty good. You also get your fortune's favor. The next big node that you're gonna pick up is actually going to be at 15, you get an emote, bend the knee. Should be a lot of fun to play with this. After that, we're going to actually get the banner at 25. It's a pretty nice looking banner. I actually really like the one this season, as well as your avatar that goes along with it. Next big node after that is actually going to be quite a ways down the road, and that is at 50, you get the unit attire. After this one, you're actually going to get your next major node all the way up at 70. 70, you're going to get the wonderful horse attire that is looking pretty fancy, as well as your weapons cache for you to choose what weapon attire you would like. Next note after that is going to be the legendary artillery selection box at 80. And then you're also going to get at 85 the with me emote. It's a pretty cool emote showing off flailing around the banner. After that one, your next major one is obviously at 100. At 100, you're going to get the very fancy uh, new attire that's got the wonderful gold gilding, all that. Uh, it is a very nice looking attire. So after that, it's just the normal thing of getting more blades all the way up until you get to 300 and you obtain the Paragons of Valor title. Let's get into weekly challenges. This is pretty standard. You have a total, you can see, of eight weeks that we are going to be working through. This has not changed very much. Season challenges. So there's the three new units that come with season 11. We're going to be showing off hopefully separate videos for each of these units, other than we do not have access to the tier fives because they are not ready for us to preview them and show them off. We will take a quick look um, at what we can see. As far as the alchemists go, you see that you have four different stages. First stage is some unit medals as well as the three day contract. Then you get more unit medals and the actual alchemist contract. After that, they do have a doctrine that unlocks a skill, which is kind of unit, unique, a unit order. That's the first aid one, which actually gives them some heal over time to go with the actual heal ability that they already have. Uh, the last stage, you get the avatar and more unit medals. So they are a two stage unlock. Banner guards are a three stage unlock. Unit medals, three day contract, lots of unit medals. Then you get the contract after the third stage. After that, they do have the Morale Doctrine, which is a cooldown reduction doctrine, and then you get the Avatar for the last stage. My what we can see with these guys is that they are a four-stage unlock with three extra stages. So Unit Medals and the three-day contract, then you get a Blue Tier Doctrine, which is going to increase movement speed, which is pretty nifty. Unit Medals, and then the unlock after four stages. Got lots of unit medals. You get another doctrine, which is going to be a defense doctrine, and then into the avatar at the end. So getting into the campaign, we have multiple stages like normal. This one is starting out apparently in the borderlands, which is pretty unique and not usual. Um, after that, you're going to move into what looks like Ungvaria. And then um, the stage after that, we're going to be opening up Astaria. And then obviously it's going into capital attack. This is going to be Turovaros. Uh, and then at the end, they are also going to have a Golia attackable for a capital. Pretty straightforward and simple. Pretty standard rewards as well for each stage. Seasonal runes. There has been some changes in runes. I probably won't do a separate video showing all this off because you have to work through them anyway. So you're going to be able to sit down and read through them and take a look once the season actually launches. Getting into the seasonal store. This is what most people want to see. 
So you have the various skins, uh, attires for the weapons. I think they all are looking pretty good. There is a lot of gilding. They are very uh, fancy and flareful. So if you are not really into that style, then uh, you might not uh, appreciate the aesthetic for this season. But if you do like the fancy gilding and uh, like the bright colors of the golds and all that, uh, you'll probably love the aesthetic of all of them this season. I do think that some of them are looking pretty nice. Uh, the Nadachi actually I like. It's got that almost like they went for an elven blade style on it, which is kind of nifty. Um, pikes and stuff are pretty straightforward, so it's uh, a pretty decent looking season. So I'm pretty excited for a lot of these attires. Um, so after the weapons, you do have the wreath that we were showing off ahead of time. Looks really good with the level 100 armor, um, and that's available for 3,000 blades. So blades are uh, carrying over like they have with the previous seasons, which is really nice. So you can go ahead and pick that up right away if you've been saving onto some blades. You can pick up more of the unit attire like normal and more of the horse attire like normal. In and into it, you can tell that the antique weapons definitely look like they are from Season 8. People, like I said, were kind of expecting Season 7. Uh, I'm assuming that they might be having issues recoloring Season 7's attires, which probably is why they went with Season 8. But either way, Season 8 weapon attires and all that are coming back. So if you really wanted to pick them up and weren't playing at the time, you now have them available. Um, you can see, obviously, we have the various attires that went with it. Uh, you see the continuation of the Season 6 ones at the reduced price. Uh, shop is pretty normal, though, as far as the end items go. So you're going to have your 10 armor uh, schematics available. We're going to have the treaties, 20 available for those, 50 powdered silver. Uh, so pretty much your standard end items to pick up as soon as the season drops. And you have those extra blades saved up. So plenty of chances for that. Yeah, there is not much else that is... Uh, going on for the seasonal menu so hopefully that gave you just a quick look so you can kind of plan out what's going on and get an idea uh there's some really nifty changes that have come in outside of just the seasonal menu uh one of them i want to show off because i don't want to put it in a separate video is actually they changed the entire tab map menu system when you're uh, wandering around outside of matches they changed the one in match to i hope this helped you out keep an eye out on the channel for the video coming out about the alchemists and the banner guards, those will be coming out soon. With that, until next time, I'll see you all on the battlefield.